All right, Sons of Valhalla, let's check it out. So we're this guy right here, and we're talking to Odin right here. And we died, but Odin's gonna bring us back to life. And he gave us this rune here to help us, which we can equip on our belt here. This one makes it so that ranged fighters will have more accuracy. So after we're done talking to him, we head to the left over here. We say hello to this guy, and we dip our way down into the other world down here. And now we're back to life. If you've ever played the game Kingdom, this game is very much based on that, inspired by that, but it's got some of its own things added to it, if I can talk. Open a crate here, get some goods. Shatter, perform a double attack, we'll be able to crit. Yeah, sure, I'll take that. Give me that. So you can attack like this like normal. You can also charge up your attack like this and do a double attack like that, which does way more damage. You can dodge roll. And we have our starting base here. This is the mead hall right here. I can press E to enter this and we can upgrade it if I have the resources. I don't have enough silver here. These guys, every so often, my Vikings here will come back and drop off resources and they just kind of do that on a timer. And I can also build things to give me more resources. So if I want to get the woodcutter hut here, I can build this and then my woodcutter will start uh, bringing wood for me. I can come over here and I can build myself a fishing hut, which will uh, give me some fish over time uh you know wood and fish are currency this is my health here this is my stamina here this is silver this is gold this is my population limit right here the dog's barking because that means somebody's gonna be attacking so i can go out and fight him myself there's a red dot in the mini map you can see some guy coming in our goal is to get from the left all the way to the right this guy wants to fight but he is going to be surprised to be dealing with me who is a lot stronger than he is he stays stunned on the ground for a while but he'll get back up and i can finish him off like that i took three damage it's not a big deal i can also shoot arrows if i want as well charge him up with f and then shoot him however i want once i have enough money i can actually upgrade this so that i can put down more buildings i just need to wait for some more silver which i can sit here waiting for that uh, thing to go by a bunch or i can go on a raid and tell these guys you can also control your guys see this glowing area that's what i'm giving the commands to which is all these guys right here i can tell them to follow me i can tell them to hold the position which they already are i can tell them all to go attack i can tell them to make a shield wall like this so if one of them has a shield everybody else will hide behind the guys with the shields or i can give like more specific commands like only the range units follow me only the mercenaries follow me only the melee guys or the siege weapons follow me or just the range guys attack just the mercenaries attack just the melee attack so you can get really precise if you want i'm telling everybody to follow me for now because i want to run over here and make some gold now the first fight here in this first encampment it's fairly easy so if i really wanted to i could kind of like solo it by myself but i'll send my guys and help me out here a little bit starts off pretty easy here just to like give you the feeling of the game my guys will help fight a little bit and kind of do what they want i can tell my guys to attack and they'll be a little bit clever more clever about attacking we keep wailing on this the, uh, the enemy encampments seem to have kind of like infinite uh guys coming in until you like take them over there's a flag you want to take down here this right here my guys won't bother attacking this tower right here since there's nobody in it they'll set folks over here this this one has like a little mini boss on it so i'm gonna deal with this guy a little bit can uh, i can try to like distract their guys a bit he's gonna mess up my guys that's just that's just what's gonna happen i'm kind of the hero here although i'm getting kind of messed up um i forgot to refill my stamina thing in my there's a there's a thing where you can re uh, restock right my guys are just gonna everybody uh follow me everybody follow me it's going poorly run try not to die i may have doomed them all i can re recruit more to replace them i forgot to do the thing which is important before going in a fight which is restock my equipment so i actually have more uh mead i can use to that also gives me my health and stamina back all right yeah everybody go over here let's uh hold position the one soul survivor deal with this guy those guys just ran back without fighting here only a partial rate i guess dogs bark we're being raided i'm gonna fight some more guys here get some more silver so i can actually upgrade my base and get back to you all right, there we go. That should be good enough. 1595. Come spend that silver over here to upgrade this building. And now we have two more building sites so I can uh, build. I could tear these down and put a barracks if I wanted to, but I'm not going to. I just want to get my barracks over here and then we can start recruiting some replacements. And now that I upgrade this, I've got like a watchtower this guy's going to hide in. Kind of like a gate doubling as a watchtower. Dogs barking, meaning that we're being raided. I can handle this one guy by myself. The enemies, ooh, they will dodge you, but you can kind of turn around and hit a mid-hit like I just did. Not sure if the dog's still barking, but I can train a swordsman here now that I've got my barracks going. These guys come back and give me some gold. Maybe I can use that to buy a siege uh, workshop. So I'll need that for the next area. Nope, way too expensive. We'll get it later. In the meantime, give me another fishing hut. We'll need that later. Oh, we're under attack. Was not paying attention to this. I couldn't hear the dog barking from the other side, but I got my one swordsman helping a little bit. They've got a batting ramp here, which will do pretty well. The fights do get harder as you get farther to the right. First one here is not too bad to defend against their attacks and to uh, attack their base. Got them out of here. When you take that down, the guys that are controlling it will come out here. I tend to just use my one attack a lot, but I want to. I can use my bow. I can use different attacks. I can eat my meat to get some of my health back. I can use this for stamina, though I don't really need to. We're kind of fine here. And come back and restock this. I can upgrade the barracks. So they'll make the units faster. I'm not worried about that. Just give me some more guys to help out here. And while those guys are being made, I can keep busy with these guys. I keep forgetting they like to dodge I me. Mean, guess what? I've got arrows too. 
and mine are a little bit stronger than yours. All right, my guys are done being made. Everybody follow me. Got some forces here again. Now go attack once more. And also they've been, re they will rebuild. I think it slowly rebuilds over time. They don't have units that rebuild, but if you take down a gate, they'll slowly work on building it back up. You guys could actually uh, help me attack would be uh, great. Make sure I give the command to all of them. Now I'll come back and deal with this guy. I could actually handle this all by myself just with some good attacks and dodge rolls, but it's more fun to like get guys involved, right? Kind of shows what the game is about a little bit better. This guy is messing my guys up. What if I were to give you guys some like arrows from a distance? How would you feel about that? Probably not great, but I feel pretty good about it. Ooh, strategic advantage. Looks like Emmy's more time to take a st uh, strategic point. I'll add that because I have the slots, but I'm not actually that worried about that. They're not that good about taking my points because I tend to play pretty defensively in these games. You can't attack them when they're on the ground unless you have a specific skill. Open the chest here and get another rune. Also rune sockets. Strong body or body increases. Max health plus 40%. I'll take that. And you have a thing called rune socket, so like these three are locked, these slots are locked, but if I want to open them up, I can click this and click unlock. I won't yet in case I want, because there's different tabs you can do it on, right? Why I spent it here, I might actually want it over here. There's something hiding up in that tower up there. If I can shoot them down with my arrow, I need my arrows. Your arrows recharge over time, because that's how arrows work, I guess. Take that guy out of there. Still need more. I, need, I should heal up here a little bit. Stop when this guy hit me. Also, see this flag right here? Once we take this uh, flag right here, we'll conquer this. But I can't get the flag right yet because there's still people inside the base. So we got to kind of clear the base out a little bit. And I think we have to make sure there's nobody attacking over here. Now, can we grab it? Yeah. Okay, my guy's freaking out over there. Ow! Stop it. You're rude. Kind of heal up here a little bit. I'm not sure why it says plus 12. Oh, I think it's because of something we have equipped. All right, they uh, kind of got inside here. I think they broke through this. That's fine. I just want to capture this point here so we can get this thing. Uh, I need you to not be here so I can get them to stop spawning. And then once I take this over, it doesn't seem to care about that catapult being there. Watch out, the catapults will one-shot you, so... Don't let that hit you. Now we've conquered our first outpost. This guy is like the tutorial guy teaching us stuff. All right, now we have this. We can go into here and we can recruit things, but first I need to deal with this guy. Luckily, you're kind of easy to handle. They just kind of like run away a bit. Oh, right in the middle of a raid, I gotta deal with you? All right, so be it. Not too tough. Like I said, the first area's a little bit on the easy side. There we go. Get this guy out of here too. Nice dodge. Give me this rune right here. Actually, I charged the altar up. That's like a special divine altar. If your character falls in combat, you can... Uh, all right, stop dodging. Do you mind? If your character falls in combat, you lose a rune for Odin to resurrect you, but you won't lose divine runes. First of all, let's pick up, uh, where's this little one? We didn't get the overpowered rune I wanted. This one's not bad. I haven't tried the whirlwind attack one, so we'll try that. Go ahead and equip this. Hold down the left click and move quickly left to right to create a whirlwind. So hold it down and just do a little of this and then just kind of goes. Yeah, that's not bad. Uses a lot of stamina, but seems neat. Not sure how strong it is. Performing a double attack will be able to do critical damage. Seems good. You can fast travel back to where you started from and to in between all your bases, which is nice. I definitely want to go ahead and upgrade these fishing huts and uh, upgrade my other wood one as well, because that will increase my max fish storage and well, honestly, I'm going to need it in the future. I'm actually going to train a couple guys here and those guys will automatically run forward over here like this guy is to defend my front lines. They can't fast travel like me. And then I'm going to come back there and destroy that barracks and replace it with something else in the future. Probably a siege workshop. All right, this guy's getting here. I got to defend my base here because these guys will keep attacking even I'm back at home. Nice if you guys stopped while you're arching, right? I can also repair this if I want to, but silver can be hard to come by. I mean, it's kind of cheap. 30 silver, I'll fix that up. And I'll fix the watchtower too, right? Why not? Now, this outpost, I can't build any buildings at. I can't hire somebody though. Let's hire a hunter for a lot of resources, but that that mercenary, it's it, they're strong. I want you to make sure they're on hold position. I don't want them running out. Sometimes they do that. If I want to upgrade my fishing huts and my uh, lumber camps more, I would need to upgrade this mead hall again, which is very expensive on silver. And I'll get another mead hall and uh, like a f one farther to the right, so I won't bother upgrading this one again. All right, my guys are done training. I'm going to destroy this building because I don't need it right now. When it's done destroying, I'm going to go ahead and build a siege workshop because, well, frankly, the walls that I'm about to face in the next area and I try to raid forward are a lot harder to get through and I need a battering ram, like pretty badly. The dog was barking saying about to be attacked. Also, hello. There's a chest to be had here. I'll grab some of this. Wood production plus 10%. I will take that. Thank you. I'm going to try not to get too close to their wall there because if you get too close, it'll like trigger them to do a wave to attack. I can actually spend some resources here to put a supply warehouse at this area. That way, if I want to restock, let's say I, you know, use my mead potion or whatever, I want to restock those. This is my arrows, mead potions, uh, or no, meat and, and mead rather. Restock this. I can refill them here without have, having to like fast travel all the way back, which is useful. But for the moment, I do want to go back so that I can uh, queue up some uh, battery rams over here. Personally, I like the rams better than the catapults because they have like a roof above them that like defend. Let's just build three of them right there. They take forever to get over there. All right, we're under attack right now. I was kind of like sitting there waiting for my uh, thing to get done, but 
we'll handle those guys real easy like and come back and take a look and see how far along we are. It's almost done. When that yellow goes all the way around, it'll be done getting made. Dogs barking. Are we under attack or are you still barking from the old attack? Still barking from the old attack. Okay. And there we go. The ram's done. But the reason why I like this more than the catapult because it gets right up to the gate and this roof above here, it protects us from arrows coming down. So I can sit here like fighting the soldiers that try to attack it. The arrows won't hit me. We're nicely defended. All I got to watch out is for the guys themselves and catapults. And the reason I queued up three of them is because we'll eventually lose that first one. Have another backups so will be useful later on. They take forever to make. So queue them up early. Although you can upgrade the siege workshop so they'll be made faster if you want to. Now that the ram is here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can bait out the catapult that they have here. They don't have the catapult here. Interesting. Never mind. All right. Well, let's bait out some guys over there. If, sometimes if you run near them and then walk back, it'll like some of the guys that are like sitting there defending will be like, oh, I don't like that. Holy crap. That's a lot of arrows. And they'll come out and want to fight you. No, gonna run back. That's what I thought. How about an arrow to your, I guess your shin. There we go. Have at thee. You want some of this? I gotta remember that every time every time I do like a full charge, it's dodge. I gotta remember that. Oops, I actually need a whirlwind there. You can actually control the ram yourself if you want. It's a bit janky when you switch directions, but uh, it, you can't control it. I want everybody to attack. Everybody attack. Actually, I want you guys to follow me. I don't want you to be that far ahead of the ram because, well, a lot of you will just die. We wait for the ram to get there. I keep them with me underneath the ram, nice and safe, where you won't get hurt so much. And then I'll be like, everybody attack. And uh, I can sit here and attack this if I want to. I'm actually going to try and shoot these guys off here if I can with my arrows. Being able to shoot the guys off there is actually kind of nice for us. And get them. You guys snuck past my, like, vision over there. And now, like, without the battering ram, my guys right here would all get, be getting killed pretty quick. And because uh, the archers from behind would be messing us up. And my guys, so they all be gone. Also, the amount of damage that I do and my guys do to the tower is actually kind of low. The, the the real damage is from the ram. It's just, it does tons of damage. This would be a rough experience without the ram right now. If I want to, I can try and like shoot an arrow. Can I get these guys from over here? I mean, if I aimed it just right from getting an archer from over here. Oh, got one. Let's go. It's the first time doing that. Never thought of it before. That tower goes down pretty quick. Those guys go down. If I charge my ability here and do my little wiggle waggle thing, I should be able to do this. And there we go. I got to do that. That's actually pretty good. Now this right here, these things don't actually have that much hit points. I can take them pretty quick down the batting ram. It's that first wall that's really rough to get. Also, there's a nice little chest right there with some goodies for us. Love that. New woodworking. Buildings cost less wood. I'll take it. Sure. And we can also uh, kick these crates and barrels for some more gold and stuff. And then we take down their buildings. And then this place will soon become ours. We conquer the flag right here. I should drink some, like, not drink some food, but eat some food, right? Guy wants us to build a blacksmith. Don't know that I need to, but I'm going to. Restock my equipment right here. And now we have a new Ford base. I'm actually going to, like, back travel to my previous one. Are you done making those rams? No. All right, I'll, I'll replace you later. I just want to replace that with the woodcutter's hut eventually because it will be useful to have more wood. But for now, I'll ignore it. I'm going to immediately upgrade this meat hall to the second level. So it'll be the same as our first one. We have four slots we can build on. I'm going to build another siege workshop right here because, well, we might need it. And I'll get a barracks here, an archery range over here, and a blacksmith over here because it says they want us to build one of those. Can I upgrade you again? Do I have the money for it? Mm, I need more wood. All right, we're about to be attacked over here. Let's go ahead and deal with this. That's that mercenary hunter I hired right there, and we're doing all right over there. That whirlwind thing just burns through my stamina. Now we got two rams over here. That'll be good. Honestly, three might be enough. Let's upgrade this in case I want more in the future. No, I don't have enough silver for you. Yeah, whatever. It'll be all right. While we wait on wood, I'm going to go ahead and go over here and uh, do a little bit of loot now here. Got a new rune. My units can dodge more easily. Great. So this right here is the tab that controls like the buffs for my units. This is the buff for my attack. I think this is the buff for my range. This is the buff for my uh, buildings at home. This is my divine runes, which gives me extra abilities. All right, this is like there's a fire over here. We don't want to fight that yet. That's the last area, and then there's a boss after that. All right, the final ram is done here. They're kind of heading out over there. So I'm going to go ahead and destroy this because I don't need this uh, siege workshop all the way back here where they have to like make them and go all the way slowly forward. That's why we build that forward siege workshop. And now we're going to go ahead and put another woodcutter hut right here. Make sure these things are leveled up. Yeah, that way our wood comes in faster and upgrade you as well. And now I'm done back here. I've got uh, two level two uh, woodcutters, two level two fishing boys, and those will keep us coming in pretty decent with supplies. I might make some forward wooden cutting things and fish hunting things, but for now it'll be fine. And I can use that extra wood to finally go over and upgrade this meat hall up to level three so that I can now have three buildings on each side for a total of six buildings here. What I'm going to put here is probably an archery range. Might be nice that we have an archery range there, a blacksmith here. No, I already have an archery range. Do I need a barracks? Destroy that. No, I have a barracks. I guess we'll just use these for resources. My guys are under attack. I should probably help them with that. I didn't even realize we're being attacked. 
You can hear the dog unless you're like right on top of him. I guess I'll just build another woodcutter's hut and another fishing range over there to get my resources going up even faster. Fishing hunt. I can't talk. Upgrade them as well. How much does it cost to upgrade you again? More than I want to spend. Ooh, look at my three rams lined up over there. Upgrade my woodcutter hut too. I can go back to the blacksmith and do some more upgrades for myself actually. Wait, never mind. I upgrade myself at the meat hall. I can increase my max health using gold. I can increase my stamina using gold. I can improve the quality of my meat. I can also improve the quality of my mead. But I only have 92 gold and it's kind of hard to come by, so you gotta be careful where you where you use it if I can talk. I want to get flaming arrows for my archers because those are pretty good. They can like light the enemies on fire. The enemies, once they're on fire, will like run away and stop fighting. It's actually very helpful. I can also upgrade this to make the upgrades happen fast, which I'm going to do because that's a long time to wait. I heard the horn sound, which means we're under attack. If you could, you know, stop... Uh, just Destroy my hunter there. That'd be nice. Guy is good though. We're under attack again, huh? All right. And dodge me. Doesn't matter. Kind of wish the mercenary but got mercenary hunter going there, but he's a special unit. He doesn't go inside there. Now that I have 1100 gold, I can come in here and buy advanced technology to unlock shields for my swordsmen, which is actually pretty nice. Now that that's done, I can hire shielded swordsmen instead of regular swordsmen. They're pretty pricey though, but I think they're worth it. And I'll go into the meat hall, and I think we're going to increase the number of meat I can carry because for the final fight, I'm going to need that, especially if I keep accidentally doing this thing where I like use this and just drain through all of my uh, stamina. Look at that. Half my stamina gone. Can I like cancel that out early by like just letting go? No, just go through, just burns through 15 stamina. I'll go ahead and queue up some more swordsmen here and make them recruit faster. You can do both at the same time. Upgrade this and have them continue to train. It's kind of handy. Now look how fast they're training over there. Also, Doggo says we're under attack. So I will just use arrows because why not? Oh, one more coming. Ah, I should save my arrows for you guys, huh? What if I were to like dodge you and do this thing right here and... Oh, 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 oh we're dead. Crap. <laughs> I, did, I, don't, I don't know why it didn't work. It's a weird ability. I wish I got in the arrow ability. I got that my first practice running. It was amazing. But it's good that we died so I can show you this. I have to sacrifice one of my runes. So just pick a rune you don't like. And you never have to give away your divine runes. It doesn't even let you. I don't really care about enemy capture time. Sacrifice that. That rune goes away. And then we uh, he now allows me to go back to the bit frost, bifrost, whatever it's called. And... Uh, Go back to life. Thank you. Then we fall all the way back down to here. Also, we're under attack, so I should go do something about that. So, fellas, have some arrows. And another arrow. And another arrow. You are hitting me for a lot. How many archers are there? It's like 30 damage in an instant. You're gonna kill my guy. If my mercenary dies, I can just hire another one, so it's not the end of the world. It does cost money, though. How is this building, like, hurt? Repair that building. All right, five more left to train, but I think we've got enough to get the job done. Let's just go. Everybody over here, attack. Thank you. You guys, attack. Oh, I don't actually want you to attack. I want you to follow me while we wait for these guys. Looks like we're getting attacked as well. I see them on the mini map. A little red dot coming our way. Easy to handle. Ooh, and you dropped a rune. Forming a double attack will be able to refill your stamina. That seems pretty good, actually. I'll take that. Well, I drop this one. Yeah, that's fine. All right, we're here. Everybody attack. Get to work. You know what? Actually, wait. Follow me. You're getting hit by arrows. Wait for these guys to get there. And now attack that these things are there to shield you from the arrows above, who I will try to deal with. Nope, my arrows are all out. So I waste them over there. This guy also does, you saw it right there, this guy does like a leaping jump from above and he kind of bodies my guy, so watch out for the strong units. The shield though, giving my guys the shield allows them to like sit back and protect themselves a little bit. I need you guys to not distract the bulk of my army. I need you to not murder my guys with your like powerful hammer attack. This building behind us is spawning enemies is what's happening over here. I am taking damage. I need to be careful here. Arrows. From, oh, that's because they have archers and they're hurting me. All right, well, I'll let my guys work for a bit. I'll build myself up a little bit. Work my way back in. Might as well open this chest while I'm here. Thank you. New rune. Range fire is more accurate. I'll take that. Great. That'll help my guys be a little more accurate. Help my boys over here with the problems they're dealing with. Stop these archers from... Oh, keep the archers. Are, are the archers are just hurting me real bad. All right, run. Best luck to you guys over there. They'll all be dead by the time I get back. Well, I guess we can replace the ram. I'll get done eventually. Maybe upgrade this so it goes faster. Touch myself up in the restock equipment. Archery range. Let's upgrade this and send out some more archers. Replace the ones we lost. I already had uh, some soldiers waiting, so they're going to be chilling right here. Although they might be dying from this attack that's happening right now. Ooh, drop something good for me. What you got? Max stamina at night. Ah... It's not nighttime, so why bother with that? I also have a shield I can use. Gotta remember that. Remember the game mechanics. I can put my shield up and just block their arrows, although they do take a while to like fire their arrows. There's a bit of a skill element involved that I'm kind of neglecting because I'm trying to like explain the game and play at the same time. These archers should have flame arrows, by the way. Also, there's combat blacksmiths that you can build. They kind of ignore fighting and they just, they just run in and attack buildings and gates, but I find the battering ram to be way better because these guys just, they just get killed pretty quick. All right, I've got a healthy army again. I'm going to tell siege weapons to attack, then everybody bugs. But siege weapons to follow me. Let's go ahead and break this down before my guys get there. If you want, you can be clever and tell your, uh, you know, shield wall. Not a terrible idea. Maybe let's do it. Let's, let's, put, let's, put, a, let's put a shield wall right here. And then I will, like, 
proc you into attacking and he'll fight you. This is like the, the boss of the area. What if I hit you with an arrow there? The boss likes to attack me if at all possible. I'm not sure how well it gets past the siege wall. Ouch! Don't jump on me from above. Ouch, it hurts. Alright, get out of here. We're, we're in trouble. I'm gonna shoot some arrows from back here and just kinda like heal up, I guess. If you guys could stop all the awful things you're doing. I mean, the shield wall is actually kinda doing its job fine. I should be maybe using that uh, the whole time. I'm gonna stand back here. Let's go ahead and do one of these and do my little... I, don't, I still don't fully have... feel like I mastered that thing. I mean, it kinda works. I feel like I could just do one of these instead. I mean, it's blocking her from walking forward, so it's actually working out pretty well for us. Go some arrows for you. There we go. Got him. Got her. Spiky bag. Throwing spears, punch them. I haven't figured out how you... Like, I know how to upgrade the spears. I don't know how to equip them, but there's spears I can use this game. I don't know how to do it, though. Not sure if my screen's flashing like that. I will ignore that and restock my equipment like so. I guess that fixes it. And we recruit more guys because we're probably going to need them. How did my shield wall hold up? Not great. They're getting bodied. Um, I'm going to take this thing out here because I'm right here. You guys, uh, follow me. You're just standing there getting shot by their archers and not shooting back. So I guess you have inferior range. You know what? Had enough whatever you guys are doing over there. Okay, just, just missed my arrow. Fine. My stamina. All right. What is left in this base here for me to deal with? I needed to conquer this already. You're not so bad. Just a little archer there. Watch out for this guy. I keep accidentally using my uh, my little whirlwind ability. You guys can just hold this position and grab this flag for me. So we've mostly cleared this place out, although more will likely spawn. I could've been using my rune sockets to give myself more rune, I forgot, or more space, I forgot. Oops, unlock that. Helps if I remember these things. Hey, got the forest camp uh, grabbed now. So this is ours. I can go ahead and put the supply warehouse here so I can go ahead and restock my stuff like this. And all my guys from the back will all run forward by default. And I'm gonna recruit the field medic because they can heal my guys while we're fighting. Although the field medic is a bit... He, he likes to run to the front. Sometimes he runs where he shouldn't. I don't know why he does that, but he loves going out to fight when there's literally just nobody out there but him. I mean, nearby can't build. Where's the enemy? I guess my guys just took him out. I can repair that and repair this. Should probably go back and uh, rehire that uh, Murster over here that died, the, the hunter. Get them back in this. Make sure I've got uh, some rams here. No room. Okay, we're full on population, so time to go, I guess. Got a little rune over here. Never mind. Cut scene. So we're this guy, and this is the bad guy who, like, kidnapped our wife, and that's our whole mission to save our wife from this guy. So he's last runs away and we're left to deal with his guys with our fighters over here some people we'll go ahead and do i'm not sure how exactly i charge the thing i don't think you have to press left or right as much as you think no i mean yes no i don't get it all right that's a lot of guys no my arrows are on cooldown all right everybody i need all you guys to follow me and get out of there that's not where you want to be run away boys run away everybody follow me and everybody hold position right here they'll defend that fine while i go ahead and restock. Or I guess not. You guys are just gonna stay in there and let that guy shoot ya? Okay. There they go. Where's my battering ram? Now oh, we didn't have room to make it, that's why. Siege weapons get more health, I'll take that. What's up, guys? Got here just in time for a raid. See right there, all I did was hold it down and, like, even move much. I don't understand quite what the movement is to start my thing, but, well, there it goes. Let's see if I can bait out some of these guys. Also, just free chest of goods. I've got a lot of gold I should probably spend, but, see how there's two catapults back there? If you go in and, like, walk near them, I don't know why I didn't have any catapults earlier on the early ones, but that was nice. Made it easier. But, um, you can bait the catapults to come forward, and then it's a lot easier to deal with all this. You don't want to be trying to raid the wall when they've got two catapults sitting behind it. So right there, all the hell is left clicking into the thing. I don't understand. All right. Oh, I died. I was not paying attention to my health. That's not great. All right, take my dodge chance rune for my guys because pretty soon it'll be a boss fight time and I won't need that because boss fight's just me versus that one guy, as you'll see soon. Rams are on their way. That'll help a lot, actually. I still want to try and bait out these uh, catapults again if I can. Most of my guys already handled them. I just didn't see it. What's up, guys? How you doing? How about bows? Yeah, yeah, you got bows? So do I. My medic's coming out here to heal me, I guess. I mean, I don't mind that. Well, it does put them in danger of like getting murdered themselves, which is not great. Uh, no. See, he's 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 dumb. He's dumb. Follow me. Don't die. <laughs> the medic is not the smartest. Who are you healing out there? There's nobody at their walls. All right, everybody, follow me. Apart from the siege, uh, siege can go ahead and attack. I'm actually gonna save my arrows before I get closer to the wall to deal with their archers are on top. You gonna heal me, medic guy? No. All right. Oh, the catapults though. Everybody, uh, attack. And uh, I'm just gonna have to dodge your catapults. Shoot these guys up here a little bit. That catapult's gonna do so much damage to us. All right. Watch out. Where's a catapult going? It does take a while for it to load. Don't let the catapult hit me. That'd be real bad. Oh. Got hit by the catapult. Ooh, had enough health for it to not one-shot me. That's good. The plus 12 health helped, I guess. I've got gold. I could go back to my base and, like, unlock more upgrades for the boss. I think we'll be okay, though. Another ram coming in to replace the one that's taking some damage. Honestly, the ram is holding up pretty well to the catapult damage. Just need to make sure that I don't die the catapults. My poor uh, shield wall guy's got bodied by it, though, and... 
Now that that's down, the, the rest of this gets a lot easier. As long as I keep dodging their uh, catapults. The catapults like to walk away as soon as you get too close to them, which makes life real simple for us. Just walk, walk behind them and slowly chop them down. There we go. Catapults done. We're raiding their base. They had a battering ram back here. That will not do you much good, sir. My archers can uh, hit them on the ground with their arrows. Just saw that happen. What if I can too? All right, there we go. Grab the chests. I mean, I'll grab this room, but I don't need it. Got to restock equipment right here before the final fight. Valgard's Hall. Long story short, he's the one that kidnapped my wife, but he was paid to do it. And I need to dodge this right here. And uh, I got to beat beat him up and get the information out of him. I'm like, hey, who uh, who you working for? And so I can uh, sit here, whap on him a little bit, dodge him. I can use my arrows. Although I find it's better to like, that. that's in the background. doesn't actually hit me. That fire doesn't hit me either. I got to watch my stamina. The biggest thing here, like this is easy. Just got to hit him a bit and dodge, but got to pay attention to your stamina. And he will go into like a harder fight mode earlier. I'm going to go ahead and use my little stamina thing right there. That's why I grabbed the extra meat earlier. Use my arrows for another cooldown. You can also like charge up, hit him, hit like that. Sometimes he gets mad and does other things. My biggest problem right now is uh, stamina. You do slowly regenerate, regenerate stamina. Also, he attacks kind of slow. So he, so he didn't work that time, but sometimes you can just kind of like walk past him and he takes his attack so slow you can dodge him a little. Didn't work that time. Is going to work this time? Yeah, see, like, like that. Good way to get your stamina back. But I'm going to full stamina here so I can actually go ahead and go back to fighting a little bit. He's got a similar whirlwindy thing to my uh, special ability. Got to watch out for my health, my stamina. All right, so the walking past him thing doesn't always work. He, that's my first time seeing him doing that attack, frankly. The arrows, for some reason, so will sometimes do way more damage than the regular sword hits. They do take forever to, like, recharge. All right, now that I've got him below a certain amount of health, he'll do other attacks, like run to the side and throw barrels, although there's, like, a, a sweet spot right here where you can stand where his barrels just don't reach you. So, not that hard to deal with once you've fought him a few times. It's kind of like most bosses are. It's also he's the first boss. The game's supposed to be easy, right? If you're running low, I find if you're running low on, like, meat potions and meat, like I currently am, the safe strategy is kind of like to just run around, hit him with the occasional arrow, and slowly get your stamina back. Because getting up in his face and fighting a little bit is kind of kind of risky. Although that that arrow, that little throwing thing he does there, is not the safest for me really. Maybe that's a safer way to fight him. Dodge behind him and attack him from behind. So he'll throw three of these, and he wants to throw his axe after me. Sometimes, not always, I guess. You can also this is a good time to shoot him with the arrows right here if you have any. A couple of good crits of my arrows there, and he's about to be done. There we go. Now we interrogate him a bit. And then we finish him off. And there it is. You'll love to see it. It's a fun game. I really like it.